All right, guys, it's time to find out which is the better pair of true wireless headphones between the Galaxy Buds and the Apple AirPods. Well, let's find out. So Samsung just announced, of course, the Galaxy S10, and at that event, they showcased the brand new Galaxy Buds. Now, the Galaxy Buds, of course, are the successor to the Icon X. In this video, as you know, we're comparing it against the Apple AirPods. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about what this brings to the table. So you've got a smaller case, a small footprint compared to the Icon X, USB Type-C charging, an LED indicator in the front, opens up to reveal, of course, your Galaxy Buds. Now, the Galaxy Buds have a smaller footprint than the Icon X or even the Apple AirPods, like so. And then, of course, putting them in your ear, they fit like this. Now, they've got, of course, a small footprint. They've also got uh, different tips you can use for better uh, sound channeling and also better fit in your ear. And they are much easier to actually stay in your ear. Now they do have touch control, so you've got of course uh, one touch for play, one touch for pause um, on either ear, but if you want to change the volume, you can basically long press hold like so to reduce the volume or long press so and hold to increase the volume. So volume down on left, volume up on right. Very simple controls, or you can actually use Bixby to do that. Uh, it's also got an application that you can use uh, that's really, really nice. In depth, it shows you your battery life in there, shows you, um, uh, you can also change some of the button functionalities. You can also go in and change some of the EQs to give you a better uh, musical experience with these. So that's what you get. Now in terms of battery life, you're looking at six to seven hours of battery life for playback with the case, an additional seven, so combined 14 hours of battery life with the uh, Galaxy Bud. This also has wireless charging on its case, so which means I can go ahead and wirelessly charge this with my Galaxy S10, S10e, or S10 uh, Plus, or any wireless, wireless charging pad, or if I'm traveling on the road, I just have my Galaxy device, I can charge it with it. Connectivity is also really good. It's easy to pair with your device, simply open it up, and boom, you're connected. Now, Android has permissions requirements which you have to go through, but it connects right away. And when you want to listen to music each time, you open it up, boom, you're connected. Now, going back to that AirPods. Now, the AirPods, of course, have really fast, smooth connectivity, which you expect, uh, and something that Apple has done pretty well with this device. Now, when you open them up, revealing the AirPods, I, will, I won't lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the AirPods design. Actually, I don't like the design. As everybody has said, they look like Q-tips, and rightfully so, and this is how they look. You can fit them into your ears. The canal design is not the best, so which means you really have to force them in to stay fit or you have to use some of those clips to actually allow them to hang. If I push them really in tight, they stay fit in my ear, but most of the time they do slide out. Now the AirPods have touch controls for Siri. You also have touch controls. You can remap them within the Bluetooth functionality to uh, for volume up or volume down or play or pause, something, you know, those kind of functions, which is nice with them. Uh, and in terms of design, it looks like this. So you've got things that stick out of your ear and in terms of fit, as you can see, that fell off my ear. So I don't like the design of the AirPods and that's where the Galaxy Buds win. Now, while I look for this, uh, in terms of, in terms of battery life, you're looking at, Apple says uh, about 10 to 11 hours with this, but with the case, you should get 25 hours of battery life. So battery life, this wins in terms of battery life, but there is no wireless charging on this. So I cannot wirelessly charge this case. And it also uses lightning cable. So of course, if you're in the iOS ecosystem, that's fine. But if you are using this, say, with your Android device or any other smartphone, you do have to take an, an extra pair of cables, which is not fun. How well do they sound? Now, from my previous videos, I've said the Apple AirPods uh, have a very bass enhanced sound. This is something, of course, with it feels like the Beats engineers worked on these. And I will tell anyone who's watching this video, anyone who thinks this sounds good, go ahead, listen to Michael Jackson, Billie Jean, and you will hear the bass crowding the song. There is bass in that music that's not overwhelming and it's not highly tuned. So you miss a lot of the, the, uh, the mids and the highs with 
uh, an artist like Michael Jackson. Now, as opposed to the Galaxy Buds, the Galaxy Buds have really good mids and really good highs. The lows, yes, are not as deep as what you get with the Apple AirPods, but they don't drown the music. Now, you can go ahead and switch on dynamic, which is within the application to increase, of course, your lower end range, and it does give you much more range there, but your highs, your highs and your mids come out really clear and your instrumentals are clear. It's not a crowded sound space, it's more vibrant in there. So I definitely like the sound coming off the Galaxy Buds and anyone who tells you otherwise is lying to you and doesn't understand audio. Yes, I'm calling people out and I don't care because I'm tired of people listening to crappy stuff. I think in my mind that Apple can make really good stuff with the AirPods, but the tuning here is really bass heavy and yes, it's great if you're listening to EDM. It's great if you're listening to trap music. But if you want to listen to everything else, you don't get the same kind of sound quality. And that's what hinders this back in the audio department. This, yes, is not great, but it does do a really good job with the mids and the highs. So you're getting those vocals wells, you're getting the instrumentals wells, you can hear cymbals, and your lows are decent enough. Now, like I said, this is not great, but it's really, really good and I like it. So for me in this battle vid from all the things I've explained, the Galaxy Buds definitely win and I think a good choice. Hopefully Samsung has the ability to increase the battery life because yes, this is great that we have a 14 hour battery life here, wireless charging, which makes it easier, 24 hour battery life here, but I would like to see something like a 100 hour battery life, of course, from the Mi 405s, which I reviewed um, you know, a couple of days ago. So uh, if you wanna check that video out, go ahead and check it. But here, for me, it is the Galaxy Buds. It's easy to use, it's very light and small to carry. Uh, the music playback functionality is also uh, simple, with within the ear the, the earbuds and the audio quality is top notch. Definitely worth its price tag at $129 for the Galaxy Buds as opposed to $159 on the Apple AirPods. So there you have it guys. The Galaxy Buds win in this battle vid. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you disagree with me, let me know your thoughts. If you have a pair of the Galaxy Buds or are picking them up and you also have a pair of the Apple AirPods, Try them out, listen to some Michael Jackson because his music does have bass, but also have some really nice mids and lows. And you can hear the range of music. That's what you're trying to do when you listen to music. You want to hear the full thing. You just don't want to hear bass blurring away unless you're listening to trap or uh, EDM music. So there you have it guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favor this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you wanna pick up any of these two items, the Galaxy Buds or the Apple AirPods, use our link down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.